Welcome back to Millennial TV and since you've gotten to know Chris Abaya and myself, let's listen and get to know naman our two other hosts, none other than Joaquin Mendoza and Yula Bay Pollock. So, let's start with my batchmate Yula Bay. But before that, why is Yula Bay your name? Mo? It sounds so foreign eh. To be honest, I don't know with my dad because he's really thinking of our names. Mm -hmm. We're six, we're mm -hmm. Then, we all have a very common talaga yung name because it's hard to pronounce. Mm -hmm. So, ang Yula Vite came from I love you. Mm -hmm. It's the ng I love you. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow! wow. <laughs> from I love you. Pag binaliktad siya, you love me. Yeah. So, ang daming tao na nami-mispronounce yung name ko na, And misspelled din. Oo, oh, oh, grabe. Misspelled. Sobrang misspelled. Actually, yung PhilHealth card ko, iba yung spelling. <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know how to... Hindi ko alam paano ko gagawin yun. Okay. Then, yung Pollock, yeah. My dad. <laughs> Obviously. So, yun ba loves to sing and loves to play the ukulele. And nakita nyo sa intro ng show, she is also a theater actress at the Miralco Theater group and she was a member in several musical acting and singing shows. So, Yulubay, why did you get hit or why did you get hit in this industry? What, what started it? Um, my dad used to have a band before. Maybe it was like 1999. Since he was born, he then he stopped at the age 40, something like that. My mm -hmm. dad and my brother, niya, May band sila together, mm -hmm. then may gig sila kung saan saan here ah, sa South. So na-expose ka sa Yeah, ako. super na-expose ako. And tuwang-tuwa yung daddy ko kasi sa aming six na magkakapatid, ako lang yung nakamana nung pagiging... <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, so ako lang nakamana. Tuwang-tuwa siya and very proud din siya somehow na... Wow, buti pa to. <laughs> Sabi nila, di ba, pag third child, pag ikaw yung nasa gitna, black, what black do you call that? Black sheep? Uh -uh. So, sinasabi nila na ganun daw. Malas. Pero, I've proved them wrong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alam mo, hindi totoo yung panganay na black sheep na yan. Kasi panganay ako, uh, ako yung black sheep. Hello? Hello, oh, mommy, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, butch, medyo na-insecure na ako sa mga kasama ko dito. Meron tayong classical performer, yeah. meron tayong professional model, at meron tayong theater actresses. So, hindi ko alam bakit puro talented itong mga sure ba tayo? Dito, Butch, ayaw natin mag-recast. No? Okay lang yan. Pero, dahil nga, I asked si, ano kanina, si Chris and Zara kanina, di ba, anong mga nuances nung uh, pagiging yeah. performer as a singer or as a model. So, I'm sure merong sariling dynamic yung pagiging theater actress. So, tell us a little bit more about that naman. Uh, yung pagiging theater actress ko naman, yung grandma ko, which is yung mom ng dad ko, lagi niya akong pinupush na, please, mag-VTR ka, sumali ka dito, try mo to, okay yung boses mo, yeah. ganito, ganyan. So ako, mommy, seryoso ba? So uh, from south, pupunta kami ng north, north. para lang mag-VTR. Uh, yeah. Sipag ah. <laughs> Super sipag ng lola ko. Tapos yung grandpa ko, siya yung nagde-drive mm -hmm. para lang mahatid ako doon. So nag-start ako, mag-join sa mga theaters, uh, eight years mm -hmm. old, ganun. So, siguro na-develop ko siya and talagang na-maintain ko yung pagiging okay, I'm a theater actress, gusto kong umacting, gusto kong kumanta while singing, acting. So, sobrang na push through talaga ako and happy ako. Di ba may mga workshop yung theater yeah. and yes. acting? Yes. Pero is it different ba or similar lang? Feeling, for me, ah, very different ang theater, theater eh, sa pagiging artista. Kasi sa amin, Meron talaga siyang, uh, how do you call this? Meron siyang genre, kumbaga na, okay, etong scene na to, sad dapat tayo lahat umiiyak. So, yung workshop namin, kailangan iiyak kami, tatawa kami, para kaming baliw. Pero, super habang fun. Habang kumakanta. Yeah. Diba? Habang kumakanta, kailangan mong ramdam mo talaga eh. Umiiyak ka, or kaya parang crazy ka na at bigla kang tatawa. Yeah. So, kung ikaw papipiliin, 
Is it singing, acting, or theater, or hosting? Oh. Uh, that's very a hard question, <laughs> talaga. Because <laughs> ako at my age right mm -hmm. now, hindi ko pa hindi ko pa makita kung sa nako pupunta pa. Because mm -hmm. and daming opportunities, which is I'm very thankful to God. Because mm -hmm. grabe parang before pinagpepray ko lang to. Now I'm here. Nasa stellar cast na tayo. Isa na tayong TV host. So, very thankful ako sa mga opportunities and as much as possible, habang na ma-manage ko naman yung time ko while I'm working din kasi. Kaya naman. So, Kaya. go lang ng go. Take it easy. One step at a time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, there you have it. And that was you, Levi. Thank you, Levi. And now, <laughs> Perhaps the most well-known personality within the group. He instantly hit fame as a former PBB housemate where he charmed women of all ages. Wow! wow. So Joaquin Mendoza, um, so Joaquin Mendoza currently works as a brand manager and marketing head of a popular food company. So he is also passionate about judo, taekwondo, and boxing expert. And learning from these different styles of fighting, Waki is also into MMA fighting, right? Yes! yes. Nah. So Waki, for your first question, so tell us about your experience or your time so pagiging PBB housemates. Honestly, uh, I did not intend to uh, mm -hmm. join Big Brother the time I did. Because nung time na yon, uh, I entered as a mid-season replacement. Buo na rin naman yung uh, cast okay. ng housemates mm -hmm. ng time na yon. And I think one of them, si Alred Gatchelian, what's up brother if you're listening from the States, uh, he had to voluntarily exit. Because uh, I guess the pressures of being in front of a camera yeah. for 24 mm -hmm. hours a day probably got to him and they ako, I was actually on vacation the time they called me up to uh, replace Alvin. Mm -hmm. So it really happened very very fast and I guess uh, prior to that I've been doing a little bit of uh, modeling if you want to call it that. Not to the degree siguro that uh, you guys have yung mga pakomo commercials na but that was really really my uh, first big break, if you will, yeah. but uh, the funny thing is, a lot of it talaga was uh, circumstantial and uh, accidental because again, I, if it weren't for Albert leaving, I probably yeah. wouldn't have been able to come in mid-season. So, paano yung after that, after PBB? So, what did you do after that? Well, I did uh, try, the thing with PBB kasi is, unlike, uh, siguro, you guys can all relate. Normally, mm -hmm. pag launch ka as an artist, they train you first and then they launch you. What's different with uh, Big Brother, at least nung panahon ko, is they launch you first. So, wala pa kami, oh, ako okay. personally, wala akong alam pang umarte, kumanta, yo, as in talented, yun yung tatlo. Diba? So, they launched me first and then hinabol yung uh, training after nung mm -hmm. pagkalabas na namin, which is, the experience in the man of sila Gerald Anderson, the Kim Chus, and all of these other uh, housemates. Uh, ngayon kasi, I think the way they produce the show is you come in ng medyo may content training ka na. So, yeah. don't quote me on this. Okay. But uh, I think that's how it's changed na. Nung panahon kasi namin talaga, we were virtually... The OGs talaga. Yes, yeah. oo. Mga strangers talaga kami. As far as I'm concerned, wala kami yes. any uh, acting or training Background. na formal yeah. apart from yung mga commercials na ganyan. So, it was a different uh, trajectory in terms of uh, entering showbiz but uh, I had a lot of fun definitely. Sabi ko nga, uh, hindi ko naman isipin na mm -hmm. makapasok ako. So everything that's come after it is pretty much a bonus. Mm -hmm. Pero na curious lang ako, paano ka nakapasok mo? <laughs> Lumabas nga si uh, Alred. Mm -hmm. uh, may Buo na sila noon, di ba? 12 sila to start the uh, season eh. And then may nag-voluntary exit after one week. And then, I don't know, uh, they probably tried to reach out to me na, oh, sige, Waki, if you wanna... How did they the contacted you? They've had my uh, contact naman for a while. Kasi way back in high school, uh, from my time doing commercials nga, ABS ah, originally so reached out na. Ah, so dun ka na-discover. Uh, uh, but 
The thing with PBB kasi is uh, it was during the summer break then and it wasn't going to interrupt with school. Yeah. So that's when they decided na sige Waki, why don't you give it a try now? Kung talagang mag-vision ka naman is basta huwag siyang sumagasa with your school. Oh, nice. By the way bro, may isa ba't lang ako? Oo. Oh. Uh, medyo interested ako sa MMA ngayon. Pwede ko ba mag-share ng ano, kahit anong knowledge? Well, uh, nagsimula kasi yan talaga, nagtatay ko ando ako ever since uh, start ako 7 years old yata, grade 1, wow. na hindi naman din siya, again, I didn't intend to excel in it naman or to uh, mm -hmm. do too well in it. Fitness lang siya, like I guess, uh -oh, most kids, actually nung una nga ayoko pa siya. Na parang, syempre, as a kid, di ba, mag-bully ka for the first time, I exposed ka to uh, combat and yeah. training. Yeah, yeah. So, I did not like it at first. It wasn't until high school na nagtuloy-tuloy ako and ako, I'm very blessed mm -hmm. na Taekwondo paid for my uh, education. Wow. It put me through school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's really given to me so much uh, beyond yung physical fitness, beyond yung adrenaline rush. It's put me through school. Uh, ngayon naman, si Taekwondo kasi is more on kicking, di ba? I'm mm -hmm. sure you guys have yeah. relatives or if you haven't tried Taekwondo yourselves, di ba? But eventually, I wanted to integrate other disciplines lang din. So, ganun lang din siya nag-start. Nag-try ako mag-boxing, nag-try ako mag-jiu-jitsu, nag-try ako mag-wrestling. I just wanted to bring in as many disciplines na hindi ko tinatrain dati kasi puro sipa nga yung taekwondo, di ba? And then eventually, it, uh, I guess it all worked out together. Nakahanap ako ng team na ino-offer lahat ng martial arts na sinabi nyo kanina nung uh, pinapakilala nyo ako. And ang maganda kasi dyan is uh, really the experience of getting to Kumbaga sa inyo, I'm pretty sure there are classical singers you look up to. There are theater yeah. actresses you look up to. There are models you look up to. Ako, a lot of the guys I train with right now, mga national level athletes sa uh, kanikan nilang mga sport, mga national team ng Muay Thai, wow. national team Jiu Jitsu, and uh, etc. So, hindi naman ako nag na national team per se, let me get that clear. But uh, I do get the chance to train with a lot of them and it's just for a nerd like me when it comes to sports <laughs> and martial arts. It's a wellspring of so, uh, knowledge. Um, passion, experience. Passion. Yeah. passion. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hindi naman nalaba, di ba? Tsaka <laughs> parang ano pagka MMA, yung tenga nila. Iya yeah, nga, napansin ko. Di ba usually in boxing? Sabi ko sa camera ang ganyan, pagkita. <laughs> so, yan yung reason. Uh, isabihin sa reason, bakit, ano? Bakit, ano? Yeah. Kasi yeah. laging natatamaan. Oo, oh, 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 natatamaan oh, kasi siya. Kaya yes, parang makita yes, mo. Oh, oh. Long story short, <laughs> oo. Oh, oh, natatamaan siya when you train. Uh, hindi lang necessarily sa talk. Uh, Oh, Sorry, I can't yeah. demonstrate it now. Dito yeah, books ko. Next time, magdatag tayong mouths dito. Oo, oh, oh, gusto uh, ko matry yung jiu-jitsu. Yes, oh. yes. But sometimes it's pressuring then your head sa kalaban mo. I don't wanna get too technical right now, but uh, sometimes you use your head to mm. push yeah, out yeah. against yeah, somebody. Yeah. That's what causes the ears. Cauliflower yeah. ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this. May tawag dyan, di ba? Oh, cauliflower. Cauliflower ears. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Kadiri siya sa camera, hindi tawag siya. Hindi naman. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman. Baka siya nang pagiging passionate mo. Oo. Oh, oh. Tsaka, hindi pag ano, di ba, lahat tayo ito may konting experience with modeling, di ba? Kasi yung, yung mga latest set cards ko nga, pag di ka pinipicture ng ganyan mm -hmm. yan, for some reason, pupunta yung mata mo sa tenga. Tsaka, <laughs> ang nakakainis dyan. Si Frank of it, pinaghirapan mo yan. I am the man. I, I am the man. But it's... Dugot pa ako siya. It's something that <laughs> you... Nakakonsus eh. Yung nakakonsus naman. But, uh, oh, oh. napapansin mo lang... Na pupunta yung mata mo sa ganyan yeah, na lang. Very charming oh, oh. naman si Waki natin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Kaya... Okay. Oh, oh. Di naman, ano naman ako, uh, up to the training and up to the competition lang naman ako, may violent tendencies. Outside oh, naman, okay. I'm a very happy-go-lucky and chill person as you guys have, are finding out right now. Yeah, diba? obvious naman. <laughs> Pero besides that, meron ka daw business or parang marketing something? Oh. 
Yeah, uh, I talked about this kanina. Uh, I'm actually I'm late for a meeting, but uh, <laughs> I'm head of the marketing department for uh, where I currently work for. Let's not oh, name names, okay. alam muna, but okay. uh, I got promoted to head of marketing. Wow, uh, congratulations to yes. a friend yes. natin. Nakaka-proud. No, 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 don't congratulate <laughs> me. And uh, this is about to take a more serious tone. Uh, part of the reason I got promoted was because my boss was a victim of cost cutting. So, like most uh, employers and most businesses, we've had to let go of uh, yeah. manpower. Yeah. And yeah. in this case, it was my boss, unfortunately. Hello, boss, uh, wherever you are. And yon, that's when I, unfortunately, na parang it had to come at the expense of somebody that uh, works hard also. But I made the most out of it naman this year, especially with the whole pandemic work from home situation. Uh, I'm just happy na kahit pa ano may uh, trabaho pa rin tayo. Yeah. Uh, it's We're never going to be safe naman. naman. Yes, yeah. lahat oh. naman tayo nag-a-adjust, mm-hmm. diba? Lalo na nitong pandemic. Ang hirap maghanap ng work. Yeah. Di mo alam kung <laughs> ano <laughs> position na. Wala, wala. Walang safe na work yeah. ngayon, guys. It's just the way it is. And uh, mm-hmm. swerte na nga tayo. At least kahit pa ano meron tayo. I think we have this, eh. Oh. Yeah. And I feel lang talaga for those of us na naapektuhan talaga nung uh, pandemic na mga baka na wala pa rin ng work or worse na wala ng uh, loved ones. And I hate to close the show at this note but uh, we're just very thankful na yeah. binigyan tayo ng pagkakataon na oh, makapag-usap-usap. Yes. Bitayin yung oras guys, alam niyo yan. Yes, and, uh, Waki, very oh. nakaka-touch talaga yung mga sinabi niyo And you two both, sobrang touching. Sana may natutunan kayo ating televiewers. <laughs> yeah, I'm very delighted to open and close this show. Uh, sorry, wala na masyadong time, but I hope you have learned something about us and we truly enjoyed giving a piece of ourselves to you, our viewers, and to our generation. Sana we develop a relationship here on Millennial TV that is happy, positive, and hopeful, knowledgeable to all of us as well. So thank you for watching our very first episode. Yes. This is Sila by Paula. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. I'm Chris Abaya. I'm Zara Padilla-Lim. My name is Rocky Mendoza. And join us next week as we talk about our generation's interests, things we like, stuff we love about life, and so many, so many more. Yes. Cheers, guys. It's yes. been a great yes. final episode. Thank you, guys. Thank you.